No, might give him a little bit of a drop on the players here. Is he actually going to go for it? I think overall it looks like he is. They've got the money to do so. Going to become a little bit difficult sooner rather than later, though, because Eastor is holding this corner. Slowly round he goes. Not ready for it, but Eastor misses his shot. Surely he should have landed that one. Suddenly the round has cracked open for Dennis, and he actually manages to take down Soccer as well. Huge headshot coming in. The fourth round for Sprout is stolen away. A massive one versus two clutch from Dennis. That's the Dennis we want to see on this Sprout team as well. We want to see him back as that of his own. And the rotate is here from Sprout. They've got three players ready on the A site. Eastor in with another. It's all about these frags and they keep on trading it out. It's Searson left in a 1v2. The bomb is down in the open. Searson has vision. Searson gets the first. He's looking for the follow-up and Searson gets the round for Sprout. They're doing it, Scrib. This is happening. At least they've got a couple of smokes to try and cut down the positions of Movistar. Oh, a nice couple of frags being traded back. The double spray down doesn't quite land. It's Eastor. He's getting burnt out. They know where he's at. He lands one. He's able to escape just for now on the no-scope. Eastor. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Movistar right as they do it again off the back of the new player, the new pick. What's the plan? Is he going A? Is he the distraction for A? It's working. There's only 15 seconds, so there's no way they can bring the bombs away. Ah, he loses that fight. Leaves Mo Poz in a two-on-one. Gives the game away slightly. He's going to get the bomb plant in for Banana, but not going to play towards Banana. A little bit more of a bait and switch. Where does he go from here? I think he's just about being spotted, but they're not sure that he's backed in towards the construction position. Seriously, going to push forward aggressively. Favin is low HP as well. He takes out the first, losing very little HP for it. Favin able to reposition it's all about the mind games the kit available oh it doesn't really matter though does it because he goes for the peak and tries to go for the fight instead of trying to go for the bomb he loses it 12-3 a 3k from mope did he buy some nades as well probably right keto gonna take down east thought oh soccer trying to get ahead of the smoke he actually blocks it though which is pretty big because, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's inadvertently keeping the T's out. They've got to change their game plan up and move back towards A. Deaths is in the apartments here. They're not even going to try and fight him. In towards library comes Alex. Deaths, meanwhile, from short gets one, gets two, closing it out. Four on two. As they're trapped within the site, they do get the bomb down. But at what cost? Another one for Deaths. Can he get the ace? It's oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Mopoz has got such a huge opportunity. Oh, he only picks up two. I mean, if he had anything else, if he had the M4, if he had the org, that would have been his, surely. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. The irony of it. The irony of it is... Death just walks straight past Keto after his teammate has gone unchecked and almost ends the round there and then. Thankfully, he only had the MP9 hold the point because Alex has picked up a quick two. Can he get it with the 